Hello, and welcome to Applied AI News. Today, we'll explore a recent report on how AI agents are transforming enterprise work, software as a service, and education. We'll dive into the concept of ambient agents, introduce the inference time compute deep seek R1 model, and discuss how to train one on a budget of under $450. We'll also look at how deep neural networks handle massive data sets, examine how humans perceive LLM confidence, and talk about the role of memory in LLMs. Finally, we'll wrap up with hands-on tutorials, including 500-plus AI agent use cases, and show you how to get started with OpenAI Sora. Let's dive in. Let's begin with Microsoft Strides in bringing AI to the healthcare sector. Their new suite of tools, launching in collaboration with Epic, aims to drastically reduce the administrative burden on clinicians by automatically generating patient timelines from unstructured data and making complex medical reports easily understandable for patients using generative AI. This has an immediate and practical impact on both clinicians' productivity and the quality of patient care by improving communication and reducing time spent on paperwork. This also has long-term effects, as AI tools could help reduce burnout of health personnel a significant cost for health systems, and allows more resources to be spent on care. Staying with Microsoft, their Quantum Ready program is a sign of things to come in quantum computing, an area that is advancing more quickly than you might realize. With advancements like Microsoft's entanglement of 24 logical qubits, the need for businesses to understand the implications is very pressing. This program gives businesses the means to build practical quantum applications, and ensures they are not left behind by rapidly advancing technology. The push here is less on the tech side itself, and more on enabling the adoption of this new tech at business level by providing training, resources, and tools to make it practical and business ready. From a slightly different perspective, the article on services software explains how AI agents are evolving SaaS, moving beyond simple tools to being the ones that deliver results, not just data. Instead of getting data to make a decision, you have AI agents acting on your behalf to get the work done. This transformation is shifting the focus to outcome-based pricing and creates the potential for significant efficiency gains in areas like tax filing, insurance, and medical diagnosis, which will all become streamlined by AI with more autonomy. This ties in with real-world AI agent use cases, where companies like Baca Systems and EZCater are using Salesforce AI agents to improve customer service response times. Their practical applications leading to reduced response times by several minutes and better customer service, along with internal workflow improvements and with great acceptance by the engineers implementing these solutions. In addition to showcasing AI's direct impact on everyday operations, this also shows a shift in perception from AI for headcount reduction to AI for better quality. Another example of impact on quality is the use of AI Agent SD 1.0, IBM software engineering agent introduced by IBM Research that finds improvements in GitHub repositories and suggests solutions to the developer. To keep the focus on these types of AI, let's consider Ambient Agents next, one of my top picks for this week. Langchain's approach focuses on agents that respond to event streams and request user input only when necessary. This tackles a big problem of excessive interactions in chat-based AI interfaces. These agents work concurrently and use human-in-the-loop patterns to facilitate communication. This is a practical response to the growing noise and friction of AI and enables an AI future with more efficiency and more human-centric. Next, let's talk about the impact of AI on learning, a top pick for this week. The World Bank blogs highlights a remarkable after-school program in Nigeria. By using AI, students not only improve their English and digital skills, but also significantly outperform their peers on end-of-year exams. The program closed the performance gap between boys and girls, and some students made nearly two years' worth of progress in just six weeks, showcasing AI's potential for transforming education. This shows that AI can be more than just a tech tool. It can act as a powerful equalizer and accelerator of learning especially in developing countries. Finally, another top pick of the week, a report that shows that enterprises are adopting generative AI at a fast pace, with a more than six-fold increase in spending this year. 
This demonstrates the shift from experimentation to practical applications, as companies try to improve productivity and customize the tools for their specific needs. While this surge is happening, many companies are also facing a challenge of talent acquisition, which is a crucial factor for the next wave of innovation. These trends underscore the rapid changes and the need for businesses to stay informed and agile. Now, let's transition to the academic world where the foundations for these developments are being solidified. A top pick for this week, research published in Nature demonstrates that deep neural networks actually have a built-in simplicity preference, and that this preference can be altered by changing the activation functions and the parameter initialization distribution. By varying this parameter, networks can be pushed into a chaotic regime that is sometimes more beneficial for complex data. This finding helps us understand the generalization capability of DNNs and their suitability for various tasks based on their complexity. This understanding could significantly influence how we design and train neural networks in the future. Another set of research focuses on the design of LLMs. A paper on Transformer Square shows how AI can dynamically adapt to various tasks by using a process inspired by biological adaptation. By using Singular Value Decomposition, SVD, to break down the LLM's weights into components and then modifying them using reinforcement learning, this design creates more efficient and adaptable models. This work shows us the potential to move away from static models and towards more dynamic AI that evolves over time, like living intelligence. Also, another top pick for this week. Google has introduced the Titan's architecture that learns to memorize at inference time to address the memory cost issues in LLMs, especially when dealing with long sequences. By having both short and long memory modules, Titan's outperforms other LLMs and provides better solutions in various applications. The Sky T1 model introduced by researchers from Berkeley demonstrates how high-performance models can be trained affordably under $450 and with open source availability. This model is matching O1 preview performance and is trained using high quality data, which is available publicly. Another top pick, DeepSeq AI's new models, DeepSeq R1-0 and DeepSeq R1, along with six distilled models from 1.5 billion to 70 billion parameters, also demonstrate the importance of open source and using different techniques and have comparable performance to commercial solutions. This means that research is pushing to create more accessible and powerful models for the community. Let's shift to an interesting perspective on potential negative impact of AI. A study from MDPI investigates the potential decline in critical thinking skills due to increasing reliance on AI tools. It explores the concept of cognitive offloading, and how it leads to a reduced engagement in the cognitive processes that are necessary for analysis and evaluation. While AI has benefits, this is an important piece of information to keep in mind. Let's finish this part by examining a study published in Nature, which focused on what large language models know and what people think they know. This piece explores how well humans can assess the confidence levels of LLMs. And the study found that there is a misalignment between how confident the LLMs are and human perception of this confidence. In essence, sometimes AI is less sure than you think, and this disconnect is an important factor when relying on AI outputs for important decision-making. Finally, let's briefly touch on some hands-on tools to enhance your learning in this field. Agent Recipes highlights five workflows for leveraging LLMs, including prompt chaining, routing, and parallelization. Crew AI provides a tutorial on building AI agents for research and reporting automation. Auto Review automates low-code reviews, and a repo on GitHub provides a great overview of over 500 real use cases and how to implement them. These all together are a great resource for getting hands-on experience and understanding the practical applications of AI agents. Finally, a piece from Medium provides a practical hands-on with Sora and how the model works if you're interested in how video generation works. In summary, today we've seen how AI agents are rapidly transforming industries, from healthcare to customer service, moving from basic tools to autonomous execution. We also explored critical academic research that's tackling the core challenges of AI, like reasoning limitations, while creating new and more accessible models. Finally, 
we touched upon hands-on tools that will help you to stay on top of current developments. These advancements are happening at rapid speeds, and it is up to you to stay informed, curious, and ready to engage. Thank you for joining and see you next time.